Right, I'm here with the man himself, the legend, Branch Warren. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, this is not your first time in Sweden, you've been there many times now. Yeah, my first time was 2008, and uh, actually Festival Fallen. And so I think I was on the way over here, I think I counted up 20 trips I've made. 20, yeah? yeah so. so you like Sweden now? Or? I do, so uh, I've been here so many times, I know my way around Stockholm. And uh, so it's uh, people are always, the people are always good. And uh, you know, now we have the gas, uh, Gas Classic Better Bike Challenge NPC shows. So uh, here at least twice a year because we have shows in the spring and then these two shows in the fall. Yeah. So, like you said on stage uh, earlier, this show is amazing. Yeah, it's uh, you know I think that the decision to bring NPC to Sweden is a huge, um, huge and correct decision um, because you know with the NPC that's the only true path to get to the Olympic, right? And uh, or the Arnold Classic and you know all the competitors, all the legends of our sport. This is the path they took. So, um, you know, any of these young men and women on stage tonight that have dreams, that have the ability and, and the, what it takes to, to move to the top levels, this is the way they got to go. Yeah, yeah. And like you said, you you have seen like pro shows that are worse than Oh, this for one. sure. Yeah? yeah, it's a, you know, the backstage for the athletes, you know, the, the goal for this show is to take athletes above all else. You know, that, that's about making money and everything else. So, uh, if you take care of the athletes, everything else will fall in place. And that's my philosophy too with the shows I have back home in the States. You take care of the athletes, that's priority number one. Because these men and women have worked so hard, in some cases they might have worked years and years to be able to be on the stage for the first time. You know, so you want to make sure they have good experience and provide a platform they can come and compete and show off what, the, what they've worked so hard to achieve. Do you miss competing when you you are here at the uh, event and like watch all the guys and girls? No. 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 Not at I, all. I, I loved it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, I competed professional for 15 years, amateur for, I don't know, about eight. Uh, enjoyed all of it, wouldn't trade it for anything, like I said, but uh, I don't miss it. So I think when you've done everything, when you gave 100% and you're done and you look back and you say, what could I have done differently? Um, I could have done differently. I won every show in the world except for the Olympia. And I came within a whisker of uh, winning that. So uh, I couldn't have done anything any different to be any better. So uh, I don't miss it. No, no regrets? Not at all. No. Best memory in Bob Billy for yourself? Uh, that's a tough one. Um, I don't know. That's a, I'll probably give you a couple answers. When I think when the national championship in 2001, I turned pro. I was 26 years old and uh, everything changed for me then. Because you know, then I got the opportunity to live my dream that I had since I was a kid. Uh, so everything started changing for me. Um, I think the next best, uh, maybe just as good, was uh, 2011 12. I had a horrible injury, tore my quad off the bone. Everybody thought my career was over. Uh, my daughter was born February 6th, uh, three weeks later. I uh, think in six months after my surgery, I was able to come back and you know, win the Arnold Classic for the second time. So, uh, so uh, I think that's, you know, that whole series of events, uh, which I thought was the worst thing, possible thing that could happen to me, turned out to be a blessing, you know? So, cause when you have something bad happen and you're able to overcome it and actually go through the tunnel and come out on the other side even better, then it's a blessing. And you, just a couple of days after the the accident, you then you decided I'm going to do the Arnold Classic. Yeah, I got injured on a Saturday, and then uh, I had surgery on a Monday. Two days later, and then on Wednesday, uh, I decided I'm going to do the Arnold Classic and defeat my title. So uh, I told my wife that, and uh, she goes, "We better start eating." And so she gave me a big plate of chicken and rice, put it in my lap. And you know, I just had surgery like two <laughs> days prior, and uh, my legs in a cast, you know, propped up and. So uh, I started the next day, I went to the gym and started training chest. So. Uh, during your prep, all athletes uh, experience like ups and downs. Uh, and I guess you, you have your share of it. On days when you like wake up and everything is just like shit, what do you do? What did you do? Well, it's, it's pretty simple. I broke it down to this, number one. Because dieting sucks, absolutely dieting sucks. You know, you get tired, you get worn out, you're exhausted because of training, all these things. That's normal. Um, my thing is I never want to lose a show because somebody outworked me. I didn't want to lose a show because somebody wanted it more than I did. You can't control who's in the show, how they look, any of that. But you can control yourself. So I learned to put 100% of my efforts and focus on me. My prep, my training, my posing, my cardio, my nutrition. And I focus on myself 100%. Um, if you do that, in those days you feel like shit, it's like, okay, these guys I'm competing against, I bet they're training today. You know, I bet they're freaking dieting, I bet they're doing their cardio. You know, so uh, why would I not not go and give 100%? Because then when I get beat, I got nobody to blame but myself. 
Thank you so much for your, uh, your time, uh, Branch. Absolutely. I'm not going to hold you up anymore. Thank you. Yep.